Hello again, this here is Spirit Animal VSOP, come back at you with some more stuff, alright, I went over to my store and I picked up a few things, some liquor and some beer, uh, and I think they're all interesting, but there was this one sitting on the shelf I ain't never seen before, alright, so I grabbed it, alright, I wasn't gonna grab it, but I went and got it because it was so weird, uh, I don't know, weird, maybe not weird, but definitely interesting, alright, now this is the one I'm talking about, right here. Gran Maisal, I think that's how it's pronounced, comes out of Mexico, and it says it is corn whiskey rested with vanilla pods and cacao nibs, <laughs> pods and nibs, all right, and it's uh, 43%, so um, 86 proof, all right, and um, first time I ever seen a whiskey come out of Mexico, so I had to grab it, and I went online, did a little research while I was there and found out that they uh, launched this last year, I think in September. So it hadn't been out very long. So we're going to open it up and see what's what, okay? And uh, let's see if we can get this thing open. All right. Looks like I might need some help. All right. Let's get this thing open. All right. Okay. Come on now. There we go. All right. That's a real nice looking bottle. I mean... If you go by the bottle, all right, <laughs> then you might think that whatever's inside of it is going to be damn good. I mean, it's got this, like, this corn husk sort of thing around here, and the Grand Maisal is, like, burned into it, actually burned into it. And uh, really nice textured bottle. And I don't know what this is on the top, but it's, like, easy to grab a hold of. Anyway, let's pop it open. Ooh, that sounds good. All right. Let's bring on over my El Dorado rum glass. There it is, right there. All right, let's pour a little bit in. Glug, glug, glug. That looks good. All right. Let's take a look at it. It's got a, a lighter amber color. Um, not bad. I was actually thinking it might be uh, a little lighter. Maybe the bottle might be uh, hiding its its uh, color. But actually, this is this is what you see in the bottle. So they ain't they messing with you, all right? They ain't putting black on the back of the label to make it look darker or nothing. But um, this looks nice. It really does. Now let's smell. It's corn. I mean, right off the bat, that's what you smell is corn, okay? With a little bit of um, that vanilla coming through. The oakiness of the barrel coming through. But definitely corn, right off the bat, heavy corn. But after like the third or fourth sniff, uh, it sort of dissipates a little bit. Not as bad. I'm not a big uh, fan of corn. I really don't like it when I taste it in my bourbon. So um, that's why I was, a little, I was a little bit hesitant when I looked at this. But I said, this is so different, so unusual. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So let's taste Mm. the corn flavor is there definitely but it's not overpowering it's balanced out with um, that uh, vanilla flavor and uh, I guess uh, the cacao I don't know what that tastes like isn't that what they make chocolate out of I don't know maybe that's a little bit of the darker tone coming through But it is corn. I mean, that's what you taste when you taste this is corn. But it's it's a nice, smooth, sweet corn flavor. It's not harsh at all. Mmm. That's not bad. Not bad at all. It's different, okay? Unusual. Not like anything I've had. I don't, like, I don't drink corn whiskey. I don't go after that stuff. But, um... I thought that this was really interesting, coming out of Mexico and all. And like I said, 86 proof, so it's got a little bit of a bite to it. Just a little bit. Mm. I haven't done a video in a while, so I forgot to do the swirl. You gotta swirl and swirl like you a connoisseur, and I forgot. <laughs> all right, let's taste some more. Yeah, it's got a little bit of... um. Also has a little bit of sort of like a malt tone to it. 
sort of like edging towards uh, scotch a little bit. I'm not a big fan of scotch. But it's sort of edging towards that maltiness of scotch. But uh, the 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 liquid dirt flavor, that's what I'd call it, liquid dirt, that, that's not there. Just the corn. Mm. That is different. I mean, if you're into bourbon, if you're into scotch, if you're into whiskeys, and uh, you want to try something different, I say give it a try. It's really good. I'm surprised. I mean, it, it usually I don't, like I said, I don't like the taste of corn in my whiskeys, but this isn't bad at all. It's got a very nice, like I said, smooth, sweet tone to it. Mmm. That's nice. I like that. Anyway, if you're out and about and you happen to see this on the shelf, wherever it is you get your stuff, um, and it's not too terribly expensive. Uh, I don't think I told you it's, uh, this was forty four ninety nine, forty five bucks. So if it were any more expensive than that, I probably wouldn't have grabbed it. If it was up like forty nine ninety nine or more, I probably would have said, nah, 44 was pushing it, but, um, I think it's worth it. It's got a really, really nice flavor. If you're into, uh, if you don't mind the corn flavor at all, then you'll like this. You really will. Very smooth. It's got a sweetness to it, a uh, little bit of vanilla bean coming through, a little bit, I guess, of that cacao. I guess that's the darker tone, and uh, the barrel coming through, too. But uh, very nice, very good sipper. I don't know if it would mix well with anything, but a very good sipper. Anyway, if you happen to grab one, I hope you love it, and please drink responsibly, all right? Bye.